Hi, welcome back to the Keto's YouTube channel. Today we're going to look at how to create a cloud-based CA for Intune Skep. So the first thing we have to do is register the Easy CA application in your tenant, which I'm going to link down below the link to instructions. You basically click this with a global administrator account and we're going to give permission to read directory data and read all that stuff. We're going to click accept. And then we're going to do the exact same thing with the register Intune application. Looks like it's the same, but if you have to do it both, one gives you permission to read the users and all that stuff. And the other one gives us permission to interact with Intune as shown in this diagram. So Easy CA knows if it's an Intune CA or is, if it's an Intune certificate or not. So we're going to go here, click through, create, and then we're going to click accept. So then after that, we're going to go to, to Azure and we're going to click create resource, we're going to type easy CA. And even though we're creating the thing in Azure, you can also do it straight in, in, in the easy CA uh, portal if you prefer paying with credit card or direct uh, invoices. However, this this does not create resources. What this does is it's just a way to bill through Azure. So it goes to, to your Azure billing and you don't have to deal directly paying with to, to easy CA. Okay, so then we're going to select our plan here. We're going to click subscribe. We're going to select our subscription and we're going to select our resource group. As I said, this is only for billing. There's no resources being created or anything. We're going to do cloud CA and then we're going to do review and create. And we're going to click subscribe. Now we're going to configure account and we're going to enter who we want our PKI admins to be. And here I'm just going to add a, a, a group that I already created in Android ID called PKI admins and I'm going to do purchase plan. And then I'm going to create my first CA just to make this video uh, quicker. I'm just going to create a root CA that is the issuing CA, but you might want to create a root CA and then an issuing CA just for Intune. And then it allows you to create other CAs. You can read more about that in our documentation. If you go to create SCAP CA, we have a whole explanation of like, what's the difference uh, between those two. So then we're going to go back here and we're going to create the root CA. We're going to call it Intune skip and we're going to click next we're going to leave these as default we're going to enter a notification email so all the pk admins will be notified with everything but if we can add an extra one here we're going to click next and here we're going to select skip template and we're going to select instead of any we're going to do client authentication server authentication and the ip ones and we'll do email protection in case we want to do email so then we're going to click next and we're going to create the CA. So now we're going to download the certificate because we're going to use it later for Intune. And I'm going to do click keep. And now we have created the, the certificate authority. We can click review requirements. We're going to need these in a few minutes. So we're now we're going to go to Intune, so aka.ms slash Intune. We're going to go to devices, windows, and you can do this for all of them. I'm just going to do it in windows and then, you know, you can repeat the steps for each OS. We're going to select windows, templates, and first thing we have to do is trusted certificate authority. And here we're going to add the CA. So it's going to be skip root and we're going to click next. We're going to select the certificate that we just created into SCAP. And we're going to do add users, add devices. And then we're going to click create. So now we have to do a SCAP policy. So we right now we just added the trusted so, so that the CA is trusted by our devices. Now we have to do a SCAP policy. And we're going to call it Wi-Fi cert distribution. And then we're going to do next and we're going to do it user based. And in here, we're going to do the user principal name and we're going to do user principal name. Uh, the actual certificate validity period is set up by ECCA, but in here, we're going to leave it as one year and then we, we can set it up in ECCA to also be one year. Here, we're going to do TPM and otherwise software to be compliant with everybody and then digital signature. And then key size, we have to do 2K just because TPM doesn't support 4K yet in, Azure, in Intune. Maybe one day they'll get to it. 
Uh, then we're going to do SHA-2. Then we have to select the root certificate. And if you did a two-tier CA, this is the issuing certificate, not, not, the, not the root. But in here, we're going to click root. And then we're going to select the hands key usages. And we're just going to use client authentication, which is one of the ones that we selected. And then in here, we have to go and get our SCAP URL. So we, we were here in the CA. You saw how I got here. We were all CAs into SCAP view requirements and then here we're going to set it up and we're going to change this to be 365 to meet the one year that we set up in in Intune as well so I'm just going to copy paste this paste the URL and then we're going to click next we're going to add it to all users all devices I'm going to click next and we're going to create so as simple as that we have created our Intune CA we have created it in Intune and now we can issue certificates to all our devices. So if you like this and you're probably going to set up Wi-Fi certificate authentication next, I'm going to link that video up here so you can continue in your journey to set up Wi-Fi certificate authentication or VPN certificate authentication. Thank you for watching and I, we hope you enjoy these tools as much as we do.